हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अस्वस इज प्रिया एंड यू मस्ट बी सरप्राइज टुडे व्हाई आई एम प्लेइंग विद दिस टोमेटोज वेल टुडे इज न्यूट्रिशन डे बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट न्यूट्रिशन एंड देयर टाइप्स सोर्सेज एंड डेली रिक्वायरमेंट एज वेल एज इम्पैक्ट ऑफ देयर डेफिशियंसीज ऑन ह्यूमन बॉडी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो nutrition it is the branch of science which deals with the study of dynamic process in which the consumed food is utilized by the body balanced diet it consists of proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals water and roughage in adequate amount it is the diet consists of a uh, right kind of foods in right proportions as to provide the required energy for the maintaining the health vitality and well being as you can see in the image more rice and alternatives than uh, fruit and vegetables than uh, meat and alternatives and then in small amount of salt or sugar or fats Similarly you can see in the E12 plate nutrients it is the chemical factor present in food item which determines the quality of food and in turn the health of the individual classification of nutrients macro and micro macro are the nutrients like fats proteins carbohydrates because they are required in large quantities second is micro like uh, vitamins and minerals are required in small quantities proteins proteins are different from carbohydrates and fats because they contain nitrogen and uh, they are the complex compounds consists of carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur sometimes also consists of phosphorus and iron the daily requirement of protein is more in growing children during pregnancy lactation infection stress and during recovery of diseases but the daily requirement of proteins is 1 g per kg body weight for adults sources of proteins there are mainly two sources animal source like meat milk fish cheese etc and plant source like cereals pulses beans nuts etc functions of proteins they are essential for the growth and development of the body for the repair of the tissues they are the constituents of several enzymes hormones antibodies plasma and hemoglobin they maintain osmotic pressure and thus maintain fluid balance in the body and uh, as well as they provides energy 1 g provides 4 kilocals of energy protein energy malnutrition it is commonly seen in infants and growing children up to 5 years of age due to deficiency of proteins and calories for longer period of time and uh, it is of two types quasir core and marasmus quasir core it is the disease caused by the deficiency of protein in the diet of child mainly in the age group uh, 1 to 5 years and uh, this uh, disease is characterized by the swelling of body and retention of fluids wasting of muscles is not evident but uh, there is skin changes color and becomes broken and scaly and it is most commonly seen in villages where there is a small gap period between successive pregnancies marasmus it is caused due to deficiency of protein as well as calories uh, it is marked by the cross wasting of muscles emaciation of uh, means the uh, loss of buccal pad of fat skin of buttocks hanging down there is no edema marked stunting it is caused due to poor nutrition the babies who can't suck the milk 
carbohydrates carbohydrates are made up of uh, carbon hydrogen and oxygen atoms and they are very important because they provides energy to uh, our body types and sources of carbohydrates the, uh, carbohydrates are of two types simple or monosaccharide and uh, like uh, fructose or glucose which are derived from fruits and sugar and uh, second is complex or polysaccharides which are derived from uh, grains plant cell walls like starch or cellulose functions of carbohydrates it provides the main source of energy dietary fiber can help lower blood cholesterol part of connective tissues some hormones and enzymes and genetic materials and uh, it the spare protein from being burned so it can be used to uh, repair deficiency due to carbohydrates carbohydrates are the main source of the energy for the body and their deficiency may lead to body weakness loss of stamina and hampers to our daily routine work fats fats are the compounds of glycerol and fatty acids the latter are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen fats are solid forms and oils are liquid forms fats are divided into two parts good fats and bad fats good fats are monounsaturated fats or polyunsaturated fats which are liquid at room temperature and naturally occurs in many foods while uh, bad fats are the trans fats or saturated fats which are artificially produced as a result of partial hydrogenation means uh, used to convert liquid oil to a solid sources of fats all the natural foods like eggs pistachios almonds peanut butter or soya bean oil or flax seeds tofu all these are natural fats and healthy fats functions of fats these are more concentrated form of energy it acts as a cushion to vital viscera such as heart kidneys etc animal fats are the main sources of vitamins a d e and k fats and diseases obesity if consumption is excessive Phenoderma characterized by horny papular eruptions CSD and CAD if uh, the consumption is more than 40% then it may act as a risk factor for CSD Thanks for watching stay tuned for my next medical video on micronutrients <laughs> Tell me that you love me